Hey, what's up guys? In this episode, we're splitting the inputs, so I'm freely moving around my mouse without moving the player. It moves my camera, and I can go wherever I want with just my player. Um, also, we are also going to rotate the player around whenever he moves. So as you can see now, my player actually uh, has a change in his rotation when I move around. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next episode, we're going to start tackling the third person camera, finally. But just for this one, we are going to fix our little bug. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so quick video once again. Um, it's going to be fairly simple. First thing we'll do is go in File, actually in Edit, Project Settings, and then Input. Now, let's look at what we have in store. So this is all the Unity default input we get. So we use Horizontal for now, Vertical as well. We also use Jump for the jumping keys. All of these we're going to wipe a little bit later on when we do our uh, Input Manager. Actually, maybe like in 10 or 12 episodes, something like that. And uh, the reason is uh, I want to have the input manager for when I use my real joystick controller, but we want to be able to still use the keyboard and mouse if you guys don't have um, a, an additional controller with you. So for now, what we'll do is we're actually, this is size 18, we're actually going to create two new slots. So I'm going to make this 20 and I'm going to take the, the two last slot that I just created. And the first one is going to be called horizontal two. Second one, vertical two. Now I'm just going to take what's inside of. Actually, never mind. I'm just going to come here, uh, remove all the buttons. So say positive button is now equal to nothing. Alternate positive button is equal to nothing. Gravity is going to be one. Dead zone. Uh, let's leave that at one for now. Sensitivity one. Same thing here. So a uh, gravity one. Dead zone. I mean zero dot zero zero one. And then sensitivity is at one. Uh, clean this one as well and what what we'll do now is um, we'll change the type for mouse movement and we're gonna put this on the x-axis for horizontal and same thing goes here for the vertical but instead of the x-axis we'll do the y and now we have two more inputs we can use so um, where exactly are we fetching the input for our camera we are doing that in the camera motor so let's go in there and change things around just a little bit. So, in here, in the update, we actually take the uh, inputs straight from the update. So instead of doing get axis horizontal, we're simply going to say get axis horizontal 2 and get axis vertical 2. So now we should finally be able to move properly. Uh, if I put this a little bit, if I do maximize on play, hit play again. And now, as you can see, my camera is moving independently so like my player is not moving right now say I'm moving both at the same time I can actually reorient myself and go to places and now um, this is fine for me well actually I think I'm gonna reduce the sensitivity a bit of the y-axis so I'll go in my state first person state and that's for the y-axis I'll put that at 1 and x maybe at 4 so you can play around with that um, but know that it's not going to feel as good as the third person camera and that's uh, uh, that's that's pretty much just a fact so uh, these kind of controls in the first person in the first person game are I think they're kind of annoying so um, we're gonna go ahead and create ourselves our third person camera as soon as possible as soon as next episode actually so next episode is gonna be the the tenth episode and we are going to be creating a big really big script for the third person camera state but for now that's all we wanted to get done in this video simply have some new input in there just know that we're gonna replace them um, maybe in 10 or 12 episodes from now on one thing I'd like to do before we end this video is I'd like to uh, rotate the player as well as you can see we're rotating the camera around but the player always stays still and uh, we're gonna fix that right now actually so to do that we are going to go in the player motor script over here and we're going to need some kind of um, rotate. As you can see here, we move, but we also need to rotate this. So I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to go into base motor and make this rotate function. So I'll go down here just below move and say protected, virtual void, rotate. And then open the curly brace. And then here we'll say this transform dot rotation is equal to rotation 
quaternion, which we don't have yet. So let's go. Let's take this value right here and make this a property just below the move vector. So public quaternion, rotation quaternion, set get. Okay, so we're gonna need to set this rotation quaternion from now on. All right, so to do that, we'll go back inside the player motor, and in here, what we'll do is uh, so we get this process motion, and just below that, we should be saying rotation quaternion is equal to state dot process rotation and then give it an input which is going to be the move vector again and then we call rotate actually now that we've done that we need to go ahead and enter the walking state and in there we'll say public override and we'll override the process rotation we have so we're getting the move vector as an input and we want our player to be facing towards uh, where he's going, basically. So we'll say return quaternion dot. Uh, we could be doing, let's say, from to rotation vector three dot forward, and to direction is going to be the input. Okay, let's try this out. See if it works. I am not sure if it's going to work, and actually, it is going to work. So good. Okay, guys, if this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment make sure you post them in the comment section below and also subscribe for the rest of this tutorial. Next episode we are going to start tackling the third person camera state so it's going to be a big one. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.